Hey everybody, auction time. I see T. Navarro here. I hear the train a coming, rolling round the bend. But I ain't seen the sunshine since. I don't know when you know I'm stuck in Folsom Prison. Time keeps dragging on. But that train keeps on moving down the sand and turn. When I was just a baby, Mama told me, son, always be a good boy. Don't you ever play with guns? But I shot a man. Everybody, happy Saturday. <laughs> Eric Bell, you cracked me up this morning, dude. I needed that. Thank you for uh, being here, everybody. Let's say hi. John Rock's still up. Well, uh, there's coffee. <laughs> Red Bull. I don't know. What's up, buddy? Hi, hi, Duck. Jack Gallman from Marion, North Carolina. I got my protector here. Uh, peace, love, and unity. Absolutely. T. Navarro, of course. That was for you. Mr. Anderson, hi to you and Pops. Definitely sending love. Ms. Linda, great to see you. T. Navarro, great to see you as well. Uh, Tiny, Tiny Numismatics. Welcome, Tiny Buddy. Uh, Got to get my tea while I welcome everybody. Uh, welcome, Tiny and Zoe, if you're watching. Johnny Cash or Willie or Grateful Dead or Johnny, Epic Johnny. Patrick, hey, Pat. Hey everybody, Tom is so sorry to hear about your dad. Yep, definitely thinking about you and your pops. Uh, the unknown. Hey buddy, good to see you. Thank you for coming. Glad that you're all uh, hanging out on this Saturday. It's uh, it's gorgeous outside, and they just tre they just tree trimmed yesterday, so. I'm getting a lot of really good light. Sheena. Oh, Sheena. Uh, good morning. Or good afternoon now. It is noon. Good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> Let me show you the uh, the lilies. <laughs> Zoe is here. Hi, Zoe. Great to see you. So 
yeah, got a great new batch of Stargazer Lilies. They smell delightful. They look delightful. And uh, I'm a big proponent of having fresh flowers in the house at all times. I think you guys kind of know that. Ooh, man. <laughs> How's she go? Yeah, here too. It's nice. I'm glad it's nice in Canada. Uh, the Unknown lives in Canada. He's one of our friends from the north. Burn my finger on my tea. <laughs> it's okay. I'm a, uh, I'm a professional. I'll get over it. I'll play on. I was going to say, I'm a hockey player. I'll, I'll play through it, but <clears throat> I'm not really a hockey player. So there are some uh, giveaways. There will be a early bird giveaway. So make sure that um, make sure that you comment at the top of the chat. There is a, a link pinned, and just leave any kind of comment. And uh, early bird giveaway, midstream stretch your legs giveaway, and end of stream giveaway. Stay, stay, uh, stay distracted and put good thoughts out, uh, Mr. Anderson, as we all are, uh, and, and just try to try to stay in the moment. You know, that's, that's the best advice I can give you, brother. And I know it's, I know it's hard right now. And, and trust me, uh, you, you and your dad are in, are in my thoughts and, and, and all of our thoughts and, and try to just kind of stay in the moment and, and put out good, good energy and, and, and stay, stay distracted with people that you care about. And, and we'll, uh, We'll keep you. We'll keep you occupied, buddy. Dear God, John Rock, I know you were at work, man, <clears throat> but you probably just came home and didn't go to sleep after work. Whew, you starting to see some visions, John? <laughs> like dream sequences, but you're not dreaming. Well, that'll happen when you have sleep <laughs> dep deprivation. Well, I'll wait a couple minutes and let some people filter in, and then I'll show you guys the the giveaways, and then we will uh, we'll do the early bird giveaway. Oh yeah, I saw you plumber section. I saw you plumber stackers auction. I got up and I was ready to take a shower and I was like, oh my God, he's having an auction. And so I stopped in and I was like, I see an auction and I get weak. So yeah, plumber stacker, plumber stacker had a nice auction this morning. Fell in love with the girl. All right. Uh, what's a nice song for me to learn, Unknown? Unknown uh, plays as well. I'm going to slow it down, though.
Well, Supermarket Flowers. Oh, by Ed Sheeran. Let me write it down. Ed Sheeran Supermarket Flowers. I remember you said something about Ed Sheeran, uh, The Unknown. I'm going to write it at the top of here. Uh, I will look it up, and uh, I'm not familiar with it offhand, but... I think of the clash when I hear supermarket. I'm all lost in the supermarket. I can no longer shop peacefully. Came in for a special offer. Get a new personality. Something like that. I like the clash. But I will check out uh, Ed Sheeran supermarket flowers. All right, party people. Let me show you what the early bird giveaway is. And then I'll get into the midstream giveaway, and then I'll show you the end stream, and then we'll do the early bird. All right, you guys, early bird giveaway is, it's a tearjerker, but I love it. I love tearjerkers. <laughs> if you guys haven't noticed, I play a lot of sad songs sometimes. <laughs> My guitar only plays sad and, and uh, minor <laughs> tones. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Hotel Belden from Canton, Ohio. Pick hotels. This is a bobcat. So they call this a bobcat because the striker has been cut off. And I'll show you the difference. Um, but you, you can see that the striker is not there anymore. And it's probably because it disintegrated. And so they just cut it off and they call it a bobtail. Like a bobtail. Like a bobcat tail. So there's that. And then the most interesting man in the world. Bowl of tea. Yeah, that's right. Tiny. Uh, Mr. Balboa. A Panama 25 cent Mr. Balboa from 2001. He is the most interesting man in the world, in my opinion. And uh, I found this hunting quarters. And everybody needs a Balboa, in my opinion. So early bird giveaway will be this uh, vintage matchbook and Mr. <laughs> Upside Down Balboa. So we'll get right back to that, but let me show you what the midstream and the end of stream giveaways are, and then we'll get down to business. All right, so this is a full matchbook, so you can see it still has the striker. So what happens is these typically fall apart, <clears throat> and so when they do, they just cut them off, and then they call it, they, they bobtail it. So be modern. The way to her heart is through furs. Not in my opinion. That's why I'm getting rid of this one. But anyways, uh, America's largest fur salon, Fred Benoff, uh, San Francisco, Stockton, and Oakland. All right, so we have this vintage matchbook, Five Famous Hollywood Designers, da-da-da-da-da. You can read it when you get it. <laughs> All right, then we have The Ugly. A 2019 W, War in the Pacific. <clears throat> Pardon my frog. So this is a W, and it is the War in the Pacific. And it's a little beat up. But if you don't have one, it's a good one to start with, and then you can replace it later. And then there's a little bit prettier. There's a 1944 P Mercury Dime. So... Middle of the stream, stretch your legs giveaway. There you go. Halftime giveaway. And end of stream giveaway will be another bobtail from Los Angeles, California, Union Station, downtown, Fred Harvey. Dining room, cocktail lounge, coffee shop, soda fountain, and luncheonette, newsstand, and barbershop. There you have it. Cool old matchbook. And piece of silver. 1968 Denver 40%er. So this will be the end of stream, 68D, 40%er, and the Los Angeles Union Station. 
Let's do it. Ain't no time to hate, barely time to wait. Whoa, oh, what I want to know, oh, where does the time go? Come here, Uncle John's band. By the riverside, got some things to talk about. Here beside the rising tide. Hi, Mary. <laughs> Sorry, can't can I cannot help with the listing. I'm helping my son today. No worries. I'm glad that you're here, though, Mary. Nice to see you. We're going to do the early bird giveaway, so I think that you commented, but if you didn't, go ahead and comment quick, and I'll get my iPad ready, and we'll do this. Jump into it. <clears throat> Again, early bird giveaway is... Hey, Nick Molnar, what's happening? Mr. Balboa from Panama, 2001. Republica de Panama. And the Pick Hotels from Canton, Ohio. Hey, LJ, nice to see you. Glad that you are here. Uh, early bird giveaway time. It's pinned at the top. The link is pinned at the top of the chat. Uh, you don't have to answer a question. Just leave a quick comment, and I am going to refresh. There were 38. Uncle Me Band. Uncle John. Uncle Duck's Band. <laughs> Come here, Uncle Duck's Band. <laughs> I love it, Ruck. All right, 38. You're thawing out today? Good. Good. I was trying to send warm weather from... Uh, from California to Texas to every, every, mostly Texas, because you guys were slammed, uh, I think hardest, but basically everywhere that was, was really, really cold and, and bad. Moss Man. Hey, Moss Man. Great to see you, brother. Moss Man, are you okay? I had heard through the grapevine and I didn't know if uh, it was true. Are you, are you ailing right now or are you okay? And it's great to see you, my friend. I hope that you are okay. All right, 42 commenters. All right, we're getting into it. Let's do it. Good luck, everyone. I will uh, I'll show you guys on this thing. I'll refresh it one more time. There's 42. And boom. Patrick Johnson, you are the winner. I like the knife and my daughter was watching and wants the lipstick case. Hope to see you all there. What's up, Pat? I know you are here. You just said, hi, Mossman52. It's good to see you. <laughs> Congratulations, Patrick Johnson. The early bird giveaway has gone to you. Mr. Balboa and the Pick Hotel is going to Pat Johnson. Congratulations, Pat. You're welcome, LJ. Uh, good luck in the next one. There will be one at halftime after the 10 lots are, the first 10 lots are up, and there will be one at end of stream. So thank you all for being here. Uh, congratulations again, Patrick, and we will get into lot one. Let me, uh, all right, so let's do the first, for those of you who haven't been here before, uh, oh man, Tiny, you are the homeboy. Uh, I will invoice you guys at the end of, uh, within 24 hours of the end of the auction. So, uh, I will send a itemized invoice with shipping. Shipping will be between what you get, uh, depending on how heavy it is, it'll only be five, between five and $8. And uh, Tiny will be the, until further notice, if he has to go, I'll, I'll update you, but Tiny will call it down. So Tiny Numismatics will be the, uh, I will, you know, instruct him and 
he will have the final say in the chat because his uh, his uh, I think internet is kind of more on par with you guys. He doesn't have the delay that I do. So thank you, Tiny, for putting it in. Number one is a color Barry Chase autograph photo with Fred Astaire on the telephone. So for those of you, I think most of you who are here know Barry, but I will introduce you to her if you don't know her. This is Barry Chase, and she is 87 now, and she was Fred Astaire's uh, final dance partner. And for 10 years, they were uh, partners, and they won Emmy Awards together. And then she went on to be an actress and was in many movies like uh, Cape Fear, the original Cape Fear, uh, White Christmas, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, uh, Dime Bag. What's up, Dime? And... Uh, so this is everything that you see here will be items of hers except for the very last tonight I'm, I'm making one exception the very last number 20 is a piece of gold with quartz in it that was not hers that's something that i'm rerunning and i'll tell you about it uh in halftime so back to lot one uh this is an autographed photo from barry chase and it is her and fred astaire so opening bid will be 30 on this if there's any interest here's the back of it <clears throat> and uh there you go so she's a friend of mine i've known her for about three years or so and i am just kind of helping her get rid of stuff uh that she has and so she can kind of have you know more fun in her life but she's an interesting lady we have we have a lot of fun chatting and hanging out together so if there's any interest in this um we will start it at 30 if not we'll move on to lot number two Nice dime. I, I, I uh, traded a box this morning, so after the auction tonight, I'm going to go through a box, too. Good luck finding. I know you're you're hunting Canadian, Canadian quarters, but I hope you find some painteds and whatever else you are looking for. So we'll say once, if there's any interest in this photograph, and if not, we will move on to lot two you're cool moss man <laughs> i'll keep it up so people can see Pulling paint out of the box, nice. Painted quarters are, you guys have cool currency. I like Canadian coins. So any interest in this, we'll say twice. Uh, Tiny, why don't you just call it at twice and kind of say last chance if anybody wants it. If not, we'll just move on to number two. Thanks, Nick. Uh, what Canadian quarter is someone looking for? Maybe I can help. <clears throat> I don't know unknown. I think, well, I know that uh, the dime is hunting him. He, he's hunting a box. I don't really, I don't know. I, I don't know. I know more about like the loonies and the toonies of, of, uh, I don't know so much about the quarters. I just know like the caribous and I don't know many of the uh, any of the varieties. All right, last chance on this one. If not, we'll pass. And uh, and again, if anybody comes in later and they they want to look at one of the lots that doesn't sell, just ask or let one of the mods know, and we'll revisit. But if not, we will move on to lot two. Thirty dollar bid for this one. 
If not, go ahead and call it a uh, pass, Tiny. Please. Hey, T. Good to see you, my friend. I hope Marley as well. Give all the belly rubs to the fur baby. Last chance on this one. $30 for the Berry Chase autograph photo with Fred Astaire. I don't know who he's talking to. Uh, I'm sure it's probably nobody. <laughs> all right, pass on lot one. We will revisit it if somebody's interested, but right now we will move on to lot number two. And this one is, this one's cute. I want to look at that silver angel pendant. The silver, oh, okay. Let me, um, let me show this one, Mar or T, and then I will, I'll show you that one. Okay, guys, this one is really cute. Carolee stamped pin, and it's a little girl holding her bear. And on the reverse, you can see it's stamped right up here, Carolee, and it's spelled out how Tiny uh, put it there. Always good to be here. Same to you, minus the belly rubs. <laughs> yeah, give the belly rubs to Marley. Uh, bull, did I hear you say late like I'm not late? I show up with style. Oops, I forgot my pants. Be right back. <laughs> What's up, Bull? Great to see you. I hope you're not socked in with all the ice anymore. Don't skip. I just met if I had missed it. Oh, no. That one is coming up. Let me look. Uh, T. I'm not sure where that one. Oh, that one's lot number 14, but I'll, I'll show it to you guys because... Uh, I didn't really I didn't take it out of the plastic or anything so I'll, I'll show it to you so you can see it all right we got tiny in at 10 thank you tiny looking for 11 for the girl with the bear yeah. see if she'll sit here all right, there is, ah, <laughs> always a challenge. Looking for 11. Anyone want to turn it up to 11? I'm sitting here with over 30 damn packages ready to go out. My road is solid ice. Nobody coming in, nobody going out. Hopefully tomorrow. I hope it warms up, Bull. You guys need to get some relief. All right, looking for 11 for the girl with the bear. Uh, Tiny, I'll call this one for you, buddy. We'll say once to Tiny at 10, looking for 11. This is a pin. What's up, Denmo? Great to see you, friend. Happy Saturday. There's the back of it again. I like how her uh, her ponytails kind of look like crosses on the back, too. They kind of look like the reverse are crosses. All right, and we are twice looking for 11. We have Tiny at 10. Last, uh, last chance for the girl with the bear. Looking for $11 bid. If not, we're counting it down to Tiny Numismatics. Hello. <laughs> all right, all in all good. Last chance to dance on this one. And we are S-O-L. If you can beat me to the, uh, to the type, you can snipe. If not, it is going to Tiny. So Tiny, you let me know how it looks in the chat. But I did, I did type something. 
So when you see it tiny, just uh, give me confirmation. <laughs> Sold to me. Yep, congratulations, Tiny. I know you like this one, and it reminds you of Lil Zoe, so I love that it's going to you. Sometimes things just find their, their right home, and Barry will be happy that, that it has sentimental value to you. So congrats, Tiny. And Zoe. And Lala. All right, lot two is in the books. Going to Tiny Numismatics. Thank you kindly, and we are moving on to lot three. This is the knife. Lock blade. Really nice shape, and it is K-Bar. <laughs> Your daughter thought it was cute too, uh, Patrick. All right. It is stainless Japan, it says, and it says K-Bar, Cleveland, Ohio, 2715. This is a nice knife and uh, looking for a $20 opening bid. Nice little pocket knife. Ms. Linda likes it. Thank you, Ms. Linda. Uh, let me know if you want to see any parts of it, you know, closer or scope it or anything, but K-Bar is a great brand. Yeah. And this was, uh, this was Barry's son's, so I guess she got it for her son and he just got a different one or didn't want it or whatever, but we've got... Bull at 21, uh, Ms. Linda comes back at 25, Bull at 26, and it's uh, it's rarely, if ever, been used. I mean, you can see my fingerprints on it, I think, but and I'll, I'll clean it off for you guys, but this is in, this is in pristine shape, I would say. And like a lot of things with berries, like I've told you guys, she, she would buy stuff and just not use it, or she'd get it and then you know, have duplicates and, and things like that. So a lot of her things just have little or no wear at all. All right, Patrick comes back at 26, Ms. Linda at 30, Patrick at 32, Ms. Linda at 35. Oh, this reminds me, I, I have a machete. I need to figure out how to send you from Mrs. Can Can a machete. You remember that she likes knives. <laughs> she likes tiny knives, bull. But hey, I'll take a machete. I'll give it to her, I promise. <laughs> uh, Patrick at 36, Ms. Linda at 40. Thank you guys for your bids. Uh, so yeah, it is, it's a lock knife. I know you guys know knives, but then you just push here and it'll, it'll fold up. So I don't know if this is bone. I'm not sure what the handle is actually made of, but it, if you know K-Bar, it is good quality. Oh, sh shoot. Hey, guys, I noticed there's a little crack. If you guys... Uh, I didn't realize there was a little crack there. If you want to back up or back out, uh, I understand. I didn't even realize that there's a little crack there. So I think it might be like Bakelite or something. So Patrick or uh, Ms. Linda, I just looked at it closer and there is a little bit of a crack there. I apologize for not realizing that or putting that into the description. That is my bad. Uh, Abalone. Ms. Linda's out. Thank you, Ms. Linda. Uh, Patrick, do you do you want to uh, stay with this one or not? Because I completely understand and I want to give you an option to get out too. Because that is not that's not copacetic with me. I don't I didn't realize that that has that crack there. 
so let me know patrick and if if uh if you want out of this we'll just like strike it completely i hate to even like i hate that it, that i didn't realize that so i want to give you an option to just get out of this one There's the said crack right there. As I'm like saying it doesn't have any wear or anything to it, I realize, hey, hey, 308, great to see you, my, my buffalo brother. Yeah, we can restart the bidding. Um, let me just check with Patrick, uh, because he was the last, the last bidder. Uh, Pat Johnson, uh, just let me know how you feel about that because I don't, uh, or no, yeah, Ms. Linda was 43. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much I need for it. I'm just, uh, I just feel like I, I got, I got my face because I, I didn't realize that. And that was my bad preparation and not, uh, not warning you guys that it has a crack in it. So, uh, Pat, it's really up to you. If you want to, if, if you want to, um, what was your last bid? 41. I, I still feel like if, if, if you, like 41 is, is on false pretenses in my, in my opinion, because you were thinking it was in better shape. So if I want to just leave it up to you, Pat, because you were the second highest. And if, uh, if you want, we can just rerun it with now that you know, now that everybody knows how it is. Uh, it's really up to you because if you want it, Patrick, you can have it at like, let's say 35. Okay. So Pat, if you want it at 35, go ahead. And if not, then I'll just rerun it and somebody can probably get it for cheaper than that. What can you do? Let's try to be honest with you guys and transparent and definitely don't want to, uh, don't want to like advertise something that isn't the way it is. Thank you guys for your patience and understanding. Uh, <laughs> these things happen and we just got to, uh, we got to roll with them. So either 35 or we'll just rerun it. I'll just wait for Pat. All right, Pat, that's fair. Thank you guys for understanding. Uh, Pat, you can have it for 25, buddy. Whew. Let's try to uh, burn some sage. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. Thank you, everyone else. Uh, let me show Marley, or let me show T really quick uh, this, and then we'll get into lot four, which is a coin. T, this is the, there's Jesus right there. So this is this is upcoming. This is I'm just showing this quickly to to Marley and T. This will be lot number fourteen, but it's a pendant, and uh, there's Guadalupe. And that's how thick it is, and it it has relief on it. It's a nice. It's really nice pendant. So this will be lot 14. Uh, again, Marley and T just wanted to look at it quickly. So this is Guadalupe and the other side is Jesus. All right, lot number four is a Winston Churchill 1965. 
dollar. There it is. Yeah, Marley or T, that that thing is really, really pretty. It the it, the definition, like I didn't show it off very well because I was in a real hurry on the uh, the preview video just to get it out last night. So yeah, when you see it out of the uh, out of the the plastic, it looks really, really nice. We got Marley and T at four. Thank you, Marley and T. This is a 1965 British clad dollar in pretty nice shape as you can see and it has Winston Churchill on the reverse hey sea weave is in the house talking about fur babies sea weave has some corgis hi sea weave nice to see you friend uh, late night comes over the top turns it up to 11 Marley and T are out. Thank you, T. John Ruck is behind at seven. We got... Who do we have at... Uh... Oh, Sea Weave comes back at 15. Thank you, Sea Weave. Let's say once to Sea Weave. At 15. Let's let's look at it closer. Late night with Bull is out. Thank you, Bull. There she is. 1965. Hey, Bluegrass. Congratulations last night, Denise. You were on fire. Congrats. I'm glad that you got your second Morgan, too. Morgans are fun to own. All right. Let's say once to see we've at 15, please, Tiny. Start counting this down. There is the grumpy old man. Mr. Winston Churchill. What's the matter, dude? Wow. <laughs> he just looks so incredibly happy, doesn't he? <laughs> looking for 16 if not sea weave is taking grumpy man home mr winston churchill we'll say twice to sea weave at 15 Looking for 16. Okay, Denise. And here is the Lady Queen. Hmm. Hi, buddy. I don't think I have any apples for, for auction, Muscle Show. I apologize. I got to work on my apple game. <laughs> my apple auction game. All right, we're all in for... Uh, Sea Weave looking for 16. If not, last chance to dance on Grumpy Churchill. 1965 Grumpy Churchill looking for 16. If not, let's let's uh, call it tiny, please. Lot four will be in the books. Hey, Paul Hampton. Yep, here's the grumpy old man right here. Only 15 jeepers. I am better than 15. Jeez, you only pay, you only bid. F All right, Sea Weave, congratulations. You get Paul Hampton for $15. <laughs> you take home Paul Hampton, whether you want him or not. Congrats, Sea Weave. 1965 is coming to you. Yay! Glad that you are happy, Sea Weave. Lot four is in the books. Sea Weave. All right, now we have these Hungarian coins, which are kind of cool. Yes, uh, dime, it's clad. That one is a cladster. 
a Cladster Radster. So I will include uh, Barry's handwriting, Hungarian currency. And here are the coins. So these are kind of cool. I had never seen these. So these are from Hungary, as I said. And uh, basically, here they are, and I'll show them. I'll just start scoping them. But the one, they're basically called forms. And the one is like really, really light. This is crazy, crazy light. I don't know, it's probably aluminum if I had to guess or something. And then they go up to 20. Fornt. Oops. Yep, Polly's only clad. The, the silver model is a little more pricey. Marley and T is in for 10. Thank you. <laughs> Duck is hungry. Somebody get duck some food. All right, so let me start with the low ones. Here is the one. 1979. This is a one forint. Forint. Yeah, forint. All right, and that one is really light. There are two of those. And this one is, what year? 1968. <laughs> I think I'm back, says Denise. 1968 one forint and a 1979. All right, so 68 and 79 one forint. And then we have a bunch of two forints, and these are kind of cool. I like these ones. I just like that big two. 1987 two forint. There you go. You give you a second to look at those. We got John Ruck at 11. All right, one. Two. All right, there are eight, eight two forints, all right? So of this coin that you see, there are eight of them. This is the two forint. Really cool design in my opinion. There are eight of these, 87, 1970, 1981, 1982, Looking for 12, uh, 1979. Uh, let's say once to Ruck at 12, 1980. 1983, and last one is 1985. Going once to Ruck, looking for 12. Now here is the five. There is one of these, 1989. This is a five forint. Ooh, look at that guy. Look at that beard. What does he have? What is that? How do you grow a beard like that? <laughs> All right, anyways, this is the five forint. 1989 and then we have 110 forint and 120. Oh, look at that one. Oh, this is the 10. I love the wheat. I don't know if that's wheat, but 1985 for the 10 forint. That one's kind of cool. And the last one is the 20 forint. Oh my God, look at those eyes. Dear Lord, what is up with this guy? Killer beard, this guy's just a killer, Moss Man. <laughs> that guy had a killer beard, this guy's just a killer.
Look at those eyeballs. He is low down and shifty, this guy. Oh my god. What does the other side look like? Alright, this is the 20 forint, 1986. And this guy is... This guy's on the FBI most wanted list, I'm sure. Man, that's what nightmares are made of. Look at those eyes. All right, going <laughs> evil eye, exactly. Let's say uh, John Ruck at 11, going twice to Ruck, looking for 12 for these crazy coins. Paul Hampton likes shifty. <laughs> Paul Hampton's in at 12. Oh, man, this guy. I didn't even look at this guy. He is creep central. Ruck comes in at 13. Meth crack. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a testament. Don't do drugs, kids. You'll look like this guy. Don't, don't do them. <laughs> oh, man. All right. <laughs> I can't stop looking at this guy, though. Paul Hampton is at 14. Thank you, Paul. All right. Uh, Tiny, go ahead and uh, take care of this for a minute. I'm just going to reheat my, uh, or heat some water for my tea. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, has anybody got nightmares yet? Let me take it off of him. Eva. Hi, Eva Wanda, my sister. Great to see you. I can't stop looking at him. <laughs> Thanks. Let me get this out of here. All right, going once to Ruck at 15. Thank you, Tiny. Thank you, uh, Mr. Duck Ruck. <laughs> Don Carter. Hi, buddy. Thank you for being here, brother. I hope your Saturday is going well. We have some Hungarian coins, and this guy is what nightmares are made of. So we're counting it down to uh, John Ruck going twice. Oh, and you get the uh, supplemental dental plans, Los Angeles, California. That was her husband's. Uh, that was her husband's uh, dental practice. He passed away a few years back. Uh, I'm doing well, Eva. Thank you. I hope you are, too. Last chance to dance on these creepy Hungarian coins. One uh, forint through 20 forint. Last chance to jump on these bad boys. If not, going to John Ruck. This is the... Uh, the two is my favorite. For sure. I just love that big old two design there. Sold to John Duckruck. Thank you, brother. I hope uh, that helps keep you awake for a little while. And lot number five is in the books. All right, Star Wars fans. In a galaxy far, far away. At a house called Can Cans. Two forces were at battle. 
the dark side, and the light. I don't know. I got one of these. <laughs> I got one of these for bids. It's an X-Wing fighter pendant. Original from 1977. Star Wars OG. Alright, 15. John Ruck. Thank you, Ruck. The Duck. My brother. Peace, love, and unity is strong. Uh, PayPal. It's, it's, it's my name. Like you just typed it at gmail.com, uh, Ruck. So just do just do exactly how you did my name at paypal.com. So yeah, at top, can, don't do the PayPal thing. Just do can can collectibles at gmail.com, and uh, and that'll be uh, that'll be the um, the way to to get it to me. Okay, you guys, this is an original. Metal from 1977 pendant of the X-Wing fighter. We got late night with 12. It does have it stamped 1977 20th century Fox. So this is not a replica. This is original to when the movie came out. And uh, pretty cool. Let me go get my hot water for my tea. And you guys can fight over it. Yep, that's it, uh, John. That is the email, or the that's the way to get for PayPal. Lot number six is on the on the docket. We got Lady Braven. Hey, Lady Braven, coming in at thirteen. Silver Tawny. I'm I'm pouring some tea. What's up, Silver? He is our brother from New Zealand. May 4th is coming up. I know. May the 4th be with you. There we go, you guys. Boom. Look at that. Uh, yeah, Tani, you can bid. Silver Tani, as long as you, you pay the shipping, absolutely. Uh, I know you well. I trust you, Tani. Absolutely. Hello, by the way. <laughs> Gary Young, rock and roll. We got a, another drummer in the house. Great to see you, Gary Young. Uh, Silver Tani, yes, you can absolutely bid. People like you that I know and trust and respect, absolutely. Not bad? Good. Good, Silver. I'm glad to hear. We have Paul Hampton at 15. Let me put it back on the goods now that I said hi to Tani. Oops. All right, there we go. Lady Braven is in at 16. Thank you, Lady Braven. Let me show you guys a little bit more of this bad boy. There you have it. This is metal. It's not plastic or anything. This is this is metal of some sort. That's a little bit bent, it looks like, but not terribly compared to the other one it does look like it's a little bit bent but nothing uh nothing really bad and i will obviously wrap it up nice and safe for you when i ship it i have a couple more autographs coming in can can already uh sold ace freely but i'll have an artemis pile signed drumstick soon sweet pew pew the force is strong with this one and Silver Tani is in at 20. Thank you, Tani. Silver Tanifa. Our brother. He's he's going for um 
a thousand. We're trying to get uh, Silver Tani to a thousand subs. And so during halftime, like we, we normally do at the at our auction here, uh, that will be the time where, where you guys can post links or ask the mods to, to post your channel. And you guys can share each other's channels. And please go and sub uh, at halftime Silver Tani because he is getting that push to a thousand to try to get monetized. So we want to uh, we want to help our brother out in, in New Zealand, our Kiwi brother. Lady Braven's out. Thank you, lady. John Ruck is interested, uh, Bull. Give it up for the drummers. Yeah, oh yeah, um, Bull. Ruck is a, is a drummer, so good person to let know about those. Let's count this down, Tiny, please. Uh, silver at 20, looking for 21. I'm going to burn myself if I try to put that in my mouth right now. But I'm thirsty. <laughs> Why don't I drink water? I'm a problem solver. Sometimes. I'm going for 1K, but at the moment, I'd just be pleased to finally break 900. Oh man, we gotta get you going there, Silver. We'll we'll get you uh we'll get your thing, your channel posted at halftime. All right, looking for 21. We'll say twice to Silver Tani. Again, this is an original 1977, 20th Century Fox. Star Wars, X-Wing, Fighter, something or other. <laughs> Going twice to Silver Tani. Looking for 21 for the X-Wing, Fighter Pendant. Drum and duck, yada, 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 drum and duck. A duck that plays the drums, drum and duck. Yada, 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 you gotta love a duck who plays drums. I do. I think that's pretty neat. All right, all in all good. Looking for 21 for the X-Wing Fighter 1977 Star Wars. If not, it's going to Silver Tani all the way in Aust or not Australia, New Zealand. Last chance. Looking for 21. You're giving it to your brother? He's a Star Wars nutter? <laughs> cool. I like that you're uh, thinking of your brother. My brother is a Star Wars nutter, too. As much as I'm not, he is. Like So, yeah, I can totally relate with you, Silver. Silver Tawny. All in all, good. Sold to Silver Tawny for 20. Congrats, Silver Tawny. Thank you, everyone else, for your bids. Lot number six is in the books. 20 to Silver Tawny. Well, we do have the Sterling Silver <laughs> handcuff earrings now. So I know there was some interest in these. And uh, They are stamped with DR, so I don't know who DR, but it, it, it's the maker's mark or designer. Uh, okay, no hurry, um, Silver Tani, and I'll like I, I I take like twenty four hours anyways to kind of uh, invoice people. But if you if if you just want to send me an email, we can definitely chat that way. So. DR is the stamp, and it also is stamped uh, three or nine two five for sterling silver. Tiny just put the listing up. Thank you, Tiny. And this is lot number seven. Let me find them here. They are sterling silver. Okay, silver. Handcuff. Earrings. <laughs> Tony Z. Hi, Tony. Welcome, my uh, sister friend. So there you have it. I'm holding them by their uh, by their posts. So they don't have the backings, but you know, I know women have their own backings for earrings. That probably won't be a problem. 
There you have it, 925 and DR. I don't know who the designer DR is, but that's who designed them. My stream and chat is messed up. Uh, Tony, if you want to, just text me uh, your, your ceiling. I, actually, I'll just text you right now. Uh, because I know you're having issues with your with your thing, with your internet. Okay. Just got home from work. Welcome home, Tony. I just sent you a text, so let me know, Tony, in the text if uh, if you're having issues with your internet. I can uh, I can help you. Leanne, hi, Leanne. Great to see you, friend. Welcome to Miss Tony and to Miss Leanne. All right, we have Tony Z at sixteen. Holding on to the bid, looking for 17 for the handcuff earrings. Here's the other side. So there's the, you can see it kind of does have the, um, the clasp on that side. You can see how it would kind of clasp. So it is kind of a cool design. There you go. Looking for 17 for the sterling silver handcuffs earrings. Late Night with Bull is in at 17. Looking for 18 now on the sterling silver handcuff earrings. Looking for 18. That's what they look like. All right, let's say once to bull at 17. Looking for 18 for the handcuff earrings. We got Bull at 17, looking for 18. Patrick Johnson comes in at 18. Thank you, Patrick. Yo, 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 Steeler Stacker. Hi, buddy. Great to see you. I hope you're feeling better. I know that uh, you kind of had to postpone the last last Tuesday's uh, last Tuesday's. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Groundhog's Day. So I've been thinking about you, Steeler, and I'm glad that you're here, my brother. Steel Curtain Defense is alive. Uh, no, Tony, I'm not. Tony, uh, text me back. Oh, here we go. I will now, Tony. Yes, yes, Tony, I will. So I have, I have a proxy bid. <laughs> so a proxy bid is someone who's doing much better, way, way awesome. All right. I'm glad to hear that, uh, Steeler. All right, so I have a $21 proxy bid. Looking for 22.
Groundhog Party is at three uh three point five. Three thirty on Tuesday. Okay, so uh this Tuesday Steeler Stacker is gonna do his Groundhogs party and those are fun. He just kinda hangs out, uh chit chat and he does giveaways and a lot of cool people come and Steeler Stacker is a really fun channel to go hang out on. So at halftime we will do the uh the links for your you guys' channel. We'll make sure that we link Steeler Stacker. Go check him out Tuesday night. I will be there as well to hang out with Steeler and his crew because it's a fun place to be. Out I was. <laughs> All right, the uh the Jedi Patrick Johnson is out. Thank you Patrick. We are at 21 looking for 22. Our proxy bidder has 21 and tiny if we can call once please. Out I was says Yoda. I have some work to do. I'll see everyone tonight. Cool stuff, Can Can. Thank you, Moss Man. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I appreciate you checking in and, and hanging out with us. It's always great to see you again. No, it's 6 p.m., but it's the 3.5 party. Oh, 3.5 party. Mm, that'll be a fun one. All right, going once at 21. Looking for 22 on the... Sterling silver handcuff earrings. If not, proxy bidder will get the at 21. That'll be fun, Steeler. I will be there on Tuesday for certain. And like I said, at halftime, we'll, we'll post your link and get other people to follow you and or subscribe, but also go and check it out. All right, going twice to our proxy bidder at 21, looking for 22. Last chance to dance on the cool handcuff or handcuff uh, earrings. Thomas just clocked in to give a like. Thank you, Thomas Buckley. I appreciate it, my friend. Always great to see you here at the at the auctions. I hope you're having a good Saturday and that you are safe and warm. That is the most important thing for people nowadays with what's happening with the weather. I keep adding to the giveaways. The party may never end. <laughs> That's my kind of party. Oh. There you go. <laughs> All right, last chance to dance. We need 22. If not, these are going to the proxy bidder at 21. Ain't no party like a steel stacker party because a steel stacker party don't stop giving away things. <laughs> I think we may be all in for this uh, this cute set of uh, handcuff earrings. Is there lemonade? Is there apple juice? <laughs> oh, you're in Arizona. Cool. So you're probably not affected by the weather. Thomas. All right, last chance. If not, Tiny's going to call it. 21 to the proxy bidder. <laughs> you could maybe make some lemonade. You could talk him into it, Muscle Show. You have powers of persuasion. Congratulations, proxy bidder. I know that you're here, you're just having internet issues. So 21 to you. Thank you, friends. Thank you to uh, Patrick and everyone else for your bids. These are going to somebody who works in a, in a field where these are special to that person. So congratulations. I'm glad that you got them and I'm sorry that you're not able to kind of hang with us in the chat because you're an instrumental part of our family. So, all right, 21. So if that person wants to let you know who they are in the chat, they can. And if not, then they will be known as proxy. 
All right, moving on to lot number eight. This is a five gram 925 sterling silver from Italy. Uh, Colorado coin, cheers. Great to see you. Congrats, Tony. I was bidding for you. I saw your comment in the video. Oh, thank you, Patrick. It is. Yeah, it's for Tony Z. Oh, man, I needed a new set of handcuffs. What's up, CJ Nick? Great to see you, my friend. Please don't use them on me. <laughs> All right, you guys. This one is really pretty. It is a heart. I'll put it under the scope because it's actually gorgeous. And... uh But there it is, and this is stamped, and it is from Italy. Yes, Tony Z, you got them. Those were for Tony Zampano, the handcuff earrings. So you got them for 21, Tony Z. Congratulations. All right, my friends, here we have this beautiful 925 sterling silver necklace from Italy. There you have the little flower heart. And here you have, I think that's either L or a T. I can't tell what that letter is, but it's either LOM or TOM, trademark 925. I don't know Old English or calligraphy that much, I guess. But that's how thick it is, and the edge has, it's its really ornate. The edge has some nice uh, cutout on it. It's pretty. <laughs> All right, so this is the necklace. This is the charm, and it is 925 from Italy. There you go. 925 Italy. Glad that you got them, Tony Z. We have Patrick Johnson in at 26 now, Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. Um, so again, let me just show you quick. There's the stamped side. There's the side that's not stamped. Late Night with Bull comes in at 27. Thank you, Late Night with Bull. Show it under the scope again. It's pretty delicate and small. So here's a penny. So that kind of gives you size comparison. This chat is so messed up. I'm going to, uh, it keeps deleting your chat. I've heard people having a hard time with that ruck lately too. I'm going to refresh just to see where I'm at with lag, but yeah, this is, this is really pretty in my opinion. It's shiny. It's in great, great shape still. We got Patrick at 30. Thank you, Patrick. Looking for 31. It's like simple, but it's it's still like really delicate and kind of ornate at the same time. Looking for 31. We'll say once to Patrick at 30. Start counting this one down. Looking for 31 for this 925 Italy sterling silver Tom or Lom <laughs> trademark. Dilbert's here. What's up, Newman's Maniac? How is one of my northern friends doing? Great to see you. Going once to Patrick at 30. Okay, John, I understand. Yeah, try to get your, your computer to cooperate with you. We will be here, brother. See you in a bit, duck. 
Looking for 32. We have Patrick at 30. We are going twice to Pat Johnson at 30. Looking for 31. This weighs five grams and it is sterling silver from Italy. Stamped Tom or Lom. I don't quite know. Just hanging around the house, getting under my wife's feet. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, Tony. Patrick's good like that. He's good looking out. Going twice to Patrick Johnson. Tiny, you have control. You can count it down when you are ready. But last chance to dance on this one, you guys. This is the 925 heart from Italy. 925 sterling necklace with a little heart charm. Last chance to snipe it. If you can beat Tiny to the keyboard, it'll stay alive. If not, here we go. Yep, sold to Patrick. Thank you for 30. Pat Johnson. Congrats, Pat Johnson, and thank you everyone else for your bids. Lot number eight's in the book. Two more lots, and then we'll have halftime stretch and giveaway. This one's going to you, Pat. Congratulations. Maybe to your daughter, probably. I hope that uh, if so, she loves it because it's really pretty. When you see it in person, it just, it's really bright, shiny sterling silver. It's like really pretty. So lot number nine, this is a really cool piece as well from a famous studio in New York City. And the studio you can look up, but it's from Alva Studios, A-L-V-A, and they made beautiful costume jewelry. Thank you, Tiny. Thank you, everyone else. Uh, and this is stamped Alva. I don't see any, any markings that it's sterling, so I don't know. And I'm not going to advertise it as sterling because I just don't know. But it says Alva Studios, or copyright Alva Studios. I think that says Studios. That might say Sterling. I don't know. I can't quite make out that word right there. Let's see if you guys can. Alva. I think that says studios. Yeah. Yep, I'm pretty sure that that says Alva Studios. So I don't know if this is Sterling, as I said. It kind of has the look, but it may just be Sterling uh, silver plated. So that being said, the opening bid is 15 and it, it is a cool, a cool piece. And, and like I said, this studio is, is well known. I did look up, I did look up some stuff on it and, uh, they're pretty well known and it's, it's pretty well made. You can, you can tell it's got some nice design. So anyone in on this one at 15? It weighs 13 grams, and uh, I'll show it to you under. Her. So there it is. If anyone's interested in this one, opening bid is 15.
Any interest in this pin slash brooch? Sun and the moon. Tiny, why don't we say once? If not, we'll pass on to uh, lot number 10. Again, this is the Alva Studios out of New York City. Looking for a $15 bid. It is stamped Alva Studios by my thumb at the bottom. Any interest going once at 15? Going twice at 15, the sun and the moon. Going twice, anyone, or we'll pass on lot nine and move on to 10. Last chance, anyone interested in 15 for the Alva Studios Sun and Moon? Anyone? Anyone? Passed. All right. Thank you, Tiny. Lot 9 is a pass. Moving on to Lot 10, and then we'll have a stretch. All right. This one, I realize, is a higher-priced item. It is a Gucci pen. And... Uh, it's wood, bamboo, and gold. And it is stamped Gucci. So this is an original from Italy Gucci pen. And uh, it's made to look like, like bamboo, kind of. And do, 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 do. there you have it, Gucci, G-U-C-C-I. So the opening bid, you guys, is 125 and if there's any interest in this, that's the opening bid. If not, we will move on to halftime, but here I'll show you the... Uh, Okay, there it says Italy. I gotta do it this way. All right. Hey, K Titus, made in Italy. It says right there, made in Italy. And then here it says, laminato oro. So Oro is gold, and la Laminato, I believe, is like laminated or plated. So Laminato Oro. Yeah, these are kind of rare. I mean, they're not... She probably got this in Italy, if I had to guess, knowing her, knowing Barry. So yeah, it says Laminato Oro, which means, I believe you know, gold plated and then made in Italy. And Gucci. So if there's any interest in this, you guys, I know it's a kind of higher priced item, but 125 is the opening bid and it is a Gucci gold plated pen.
Back how long was that? This was probably, she probably bought this in like the 80s if I had to guess, if that's what you're asking, uh, Ruck. I bet she probably got this in the 80s. Spud Lee, good morning, it's a beautiful day. It's gorgeous outside. Oh, the blimp is right out there. <laughs> the Goodyear blimp is outside of my window. All right, any interest in this? This is uh, this is lot number 10, uh, John. John Ruck, this is lot number 10. This is the Gucci pen, gold-plated Gucci pen. How's my Gemini, brother? Gadouge. Great to see you, Spud. All right, any interest in the Gucci pen? Opening bid is 125, going once. Thank you, Tiny. Gold plated Gucci pen with wood, gold and wood. It's a pretty cool pen, but it's a, uh, <laughs> it's an overmade pen. <laughs> overproduced pen I guess made in Italy and then it says laminato oro which I do believe is oro is definitely gold but laminato I think is probably plated so any interest in the Gucci pen if not we will stretch and do our halftime relaxation and uh I'll come back and we'll do the halftime giveaway. This is what the pen looks like. It is a gold-plated Gucci pen from Italy. Any interest at 125? Going twice, if not, we will pass on the Gucci pen. Gold plated Gucci pen, Laminato Oro, last chance, don't forget guys at the top of the chat is the link for the giveaway, just leave a comment and you don't have to answer any question and you'll be entered in the giveaways, there will be two, there will be one upcoming. And then there will be one at uh, the end of stream. Pass on lot 10. Thank you guys for checking it out at least. I know it's kind of a specialty item, which, you know, it's throwing it out there. So, woo, stretch, shake it out, do some yoga, get some, uh, get some snacks, get a drink, chat with each other. Uh, this is the time where you guys can check out each other's channels, so please uh, link each other's uh, you know channels, put out our friends' channels, you know spray can, uh, Guru Mint Miser, uh, Steeler Stacker, Plumber Stacker, all of our all of our friends who are the, the smaller channels, Jack Allman. Uh, let's try to get you know some of our our friends plugged. So thank you for being here. I'm going to go take a little quick break and I'll give you something to look at while I'm gone. How about this? Yeah, that seems all right. Cheers. I'll see you guys soon.
<laughs> Polly, no way, man. I had to put that Jesus under there to like cleanse and purge those evil spirits from that Hungarian guy. <laughs> I wasn't gonna wasn't gonna torture you guys. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Yep, that's Ripple by the Grateful Dead, one of my very favorites. So, it's halftime, halftime giveaway time. Welcome, uh, Crafty Dragon. I saw that you are here. Nice to see you, my New York friend. Oh my god, I just gave you a third win. Woohoo! All right, Ruck, I'm going for mine in my bowl of uh, <laughs> my swimming pool of uh, <laughs> coffee. Genesee Ted, my band. <laughs> Drop four flights and crack my spine. Buddy, come quick with the iodine. My dog, he turned to me and he said, Let's head back to Tennessee, Jed. <laughs> I love that one. 
Tennessee, Tennessee, there ain't no place I'd rather be. Baby, won't you carry me back to Tennessee? All right, it's halftime giveaway, you guys. You've been patient. I appreciate you being here. This is Be Modern, the way to her heart is through furs. America's largest fur salon, Fred Benioff. San Francisco, 135 Geary. All right, so here we have a vintage matchbook. And 2019 W1 Pacific, a little beat up, but if you don't have one, this could be your first, and you can always update it and upgrade it but it is a 2019 W1 Pacific and a 1944 Philly Mercury dime, my favorite dime. So good luck everyone, silver, W, and matchbook. Time for the halftime giveaway, let's do it. Coffee time, coffee time, coffee, coffee, coffee time with Can Can. Just so I know this is the only auction I attend. Awesome. Thank you, Crafty Dragon. I'm flattered. I, uh, I love hanging out with you, so I'm just glad that you're here. But I'm flattered to know that this is the only auction that you, that you come and hang out at. So thank you, Crafty. We are from Genesee country, so I get it. Are you from upstate New York, Ruck? Did I lose did I lose sight of that somehow? Yeah, Genesee, Genesee Beard, Genesee River. All right, you guys. I digress. There were 42 commenters. Let's check it out now. I'm gonna update it. 58. Many more people. Victoria. Great to see you, Victoria Roman Carter, my friend. Many more people, <laughs> yeah, pour your Coke in the toilet. Anyways, we have 58 now, so more people have a chance. Good luck, everyone. This is, yes, man, Ruck, email me, buddy. I, I want to talk to you about that. I love that. I, I, I forget about stuff sometimes uh, when I am in the stream. I love that, Ruck, that you're back from back there. All right, here we go, you guys. Good luck. And we're off. Ms. Linda. Ms. Linda, are you still here? Great items as always. I hope you are still here, Ms. Linda. You are the winner of the halftime giveaway. You get the Be Modern with the furs. With the boots, with the furs. She had the whole club looking at her. She hit the floor. Next thing you know, Miss Linda got low, 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 low. Apple bottom jeans and the boots with the furs. Is Miss Linda in the place with hers? I don't know. Miss Linda, do I got She is here. <laughs> Congratulations. Miss Linda is halftime giveaway winner. I'm sorry, there's nothing really sharp. You could you could you just want to bend one of the staples out and that's sharp, Miss Linda. So you, you you do have some sharp and you do have some plastic. So good on you. <laughs> Thanks everybody else for uh, being here and for trying. And there will be an end of stream giveaway. So you're very welcome, Miss Linda. Love you, lady. You know that, Miss Linda. Halftime giveaway. It is the 1944 P Mercury dime and the W war in the Pacific that I actually Ms. Linda I just found this coin last night this W so fresh off the uh, fresh out of a roll fresh out of an old roll all right we're moving on lot number 11 we are turning it up to 11 spinal tap style I don't remember what it is so let me look <laughs> oh these are the kissing dolls where did I put them? These are the kissing dolls. Oh, no, these aren't. This is the, yep. Thank you, Tiny. 
Tiny has it. Ashley West Coast, welcome. All right, you guys, this is a black and white original photograph from, I believe it's 1950. Don't quote me on this, but it's 1956-ish, I believe. Hey, Kathy's Corner. Uh, I hope you're doing well, uh, too. <laughs> Tony E, Ms. Linda has Betty Boop smiling. <laughs> Nice to see you, Tony E. Uh, the magnets kissing is next. I I I, I jumped ahead. So this one, you guys, uh, and I can have I can have um, Barry sign this for you. So it will be included in the price of whatever you you know, whatever it sells at. If you do want it, I can and will have her sign it and or personalize it to you. I just stopped by and the sweet coin moss is given away. Arg. Arg muscle shell. There will be an end of stream, buddy. So you have the sandwich board with in person on stage, Barry Chase and James D. McDonald. He is a famous writer. He's James McDonald is the author who wrote Cape Fear and also a, a bunch of other good books and things that have turned into movies. And there's the lady of the hour, Barry Chase. So if you're interested, this is a $30 opening bid and uh, lot number 11. Any interest in the black and white photograph of Barry? Cape Fear? So this was the original with Robert Mitchum and uh, Gregory Peck. And then in the 90s, I believe, maybe 2000s, uh, they did a remake of it. Seaweave is in. Thank you, Seaweave. They did a remake of it with Robert De Niro and uh, I believe Nick Nolte and Juliette Lewis. But she was in the original. We have Seaweave at 30. Thank you, Seaweave. Uh, just let me know. If you do get this sea weave, if you want it signed or autographed, and I can happily do that for you and or personalize it. Looking for 31 for the auto, or the soon to be autographed Barry Chase Cape Fear premiere. If not, we can say, oh, Patrick at 31, sea weave at 33. We do have some interest in this one. Thank you, Patrick and Seaweave. Patrick at 35. Do I have any old jazz musicians or any old picks? Uh, Ruck, let me uh, let me look around. I'm trying to. It's hard for me to kind of like think right this second, but definitely include that if you, if you email me, John, Mr. Duck. Uh, ask me in the email too, and I'll I'll start looking for you. Seaweave comes back at forty. Thank you, Seaweave. Black and white original photo. This is not a. Uh, I don't believe that this is a copied photo. I think this is an original. Yeah, it has nothing has nothing on the back like any kind of like Kodak or. Fuji or anything like that. So I, I do believe that this is an original from the 50s photograph, not a reproduction or a reprint. Pretty lady. Really, really cool lady, too. Okay, cool. Thank you, Ruck. Uh, let me know in there. Is Plumber Stacker here? Hey, Plumber. <laughs> I, was at, I was at Plumber's auction earlier. We, we, uh, we ran your link at halftime, buddy. Hopefully we'll get you some new subs and, and people coming to, to check out the Plumber Stackers channel. So there is the lady of the hour, Ms. Barry Chase. Let's say once to Patrick at 45. You really want this, don't you, Patrick? <laughs> All right, we're once to Patrick at 45, we'll say.
this can be autographed by Barry, included in the uh, in the lot, autographed and or personalized, whatever your pleasure, or we can just leave it this way. Going once to Patrick at 45. Thank you. Can't can I love the cup you're drinking from? Thank you, Kathy. Uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's big. So I like uh, when I do live streams, I can just, you know, hold a lot of uh, coffee and or tea so I don't have to keep getting up and disappearing. <laughs> but thank you, Kathy. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, I could feel the love in the room. Bulls, bulls backing out to be nice. Uh, sea weaves backing out to be nice. Love you guys. Love you too, Pat. So Pat Johnson really likes this photo, and he says, "Going once, we'll say twice to uh, Patrick. Then please, Tiny." Twice to Patrick at All In All Good at 45. Last chance to dance with the dancing lady, Ms. Barry Chase. Beautiful Barry Chase, dancer and actress extraordinaire. Going, going, almost gone to Pat Johnson. 